Hello and welcome to the first episode of Mikey's Flight Deck. Today I will show you how you can build the base for your Boeing 737 sidewall. The sidewall is based on the plans of Vida Fager Yard. These are the most detailed plans I've found until now and I was sad to read that he has gave up his home cock project in 2015. I have cut all the needed pieces from 10mm MDF. Some of the pieces didn't fit as they should and I had to improvise from time to time. So just to be safe, I would recommend to wait with the cutting until you need the particular piece. I started the build process with a simple box from part C and two pieces of A and B. I used the fast drying glue and nailed the parts with some 25mm breads. I sanded all the edges flush for a better fit to the connecting parts. After that, I built the edge made of part 13 and 12. and corrected the angle of the top to be 20 degrees. I always cleaned the cut edges with a sandpaper to get the best possible fit to the following parts. After correcting the angle of this part here, these two parts don't fit uh, here anymore when they are both settled uh, on the bottom. So we have to move up this part a little bit so that they are flush here at the top. I glued and nailed part 14 to the edge of part 12. Another edge was built from parts 9 and 10, this time with a little help of my daughter. Before you connect piece 10 to piece 14, be sure piece 11 still fits between piece 10 and piece 12. Best is to uh, let piece 11 down here between, between these two pieces while you glue it up. The so-called rib cover is made from three stripes. The outer two of them get a 45 degree angle on both sides. To hold the parts while gluing, I place them side by side on two stripes of painter's tape. This supports the edges to be flush. After the glue has dried, I mounted the rib cover centered on piece 14, with the angled sides flush to each other. I've had some problems with the connection of part 1 and part 9. As you can see, part 1 is too small to cover the full width of part C. There is a gap of, uh, I think, 3 cm here. Um, and uh, the part is too small to support the table that follows here um, with the full length here. The changes I've made is uh, that I've cut away this part of part 1 and made a long piece here of a width of 4 cm to uh, connect to part 9 and close the gap between part 1 and part 9. My piece came out a little bit too short. But that's not a problem, just be sure it's flush on the top. And this was the moment when I realized that I've connected the pieces with the wrong sides. I 
I started the table area with an edge made of part 1 and 2 and mounted the table on top of them. Part 3 gets a 45 degree angle on both sides to offer a glueable surface to the nearby parts. The next support is given by part 4. Be sure to mount it perpendicular to the table. Whenever you have a corner like this, instead of trying to shoot nails through the edge of the corner, you should make yourself an angled block like this, which outside angle is the same angle as the inside angle of this corner. You then glue this block like this into the corner and shoot the nails from the outside to the MDF into the wood. That gives the corner a perfect strength. I made another wedge of 36 cm length to prevent the rear area from bending down. This top part of the table is a little bit longer to the back to give support to this uh, following piece here which uh, sits on its top. So you have to cut a little notch into this small piece here to close this gap. With the help of two wooden squares part 8 was clamped perpendicular to the table area and nailed. I cut a 30 degree angle on that side of part 7 that connects to part 6, which received a 30 degree angle on both sides. Again, the connection is supported by two angled blocks of wood. I have a little gap here between the table and part 7. And this is because uh, I think part 7, uh, the measurement is a little bit too short in this direction. Um, but I will try to fill this gap uh, later with some uh, small MDF plates from behind, like, like this, and fill the gap here uh, with some putty later. Part 5 closed the gap between part 4 and part 6. The second rib cover is made like the first one and mounted to the center of part 8. There are some triangular rib details on part C of the side wall. Adding these to its top brings a nice look and even more realism to the wall. These blocks have a measurement of 20 by 3 cm and all sides are cut with a 41 degree angle. I started making them by ripping a long board into 3 cm wide stripes, cut off 20 cm long pieces and cut the 41 degree angle to both sides. To cut the angles at the top ends, a stop block on the miter saw comes handy. The pieces are placed on part C with a distance of 25mm to the edge and to each other. 11 pieces are needed for each wall. A little bit of weight helps to hold them in place while the glue dries. Finally, the lower half of the side wall gets connected to the box. And gets married with the upper half. I used some cut-off pieces to support the connection from the back. And here it is, the first step to your Boeing sidewall. I have to mention one thing, the top of the table should be 37 centimeters. So I had to shorten all these uh, surrounding parts 
of 1 cm to a length of 36 cm so that with the thickness of this MDF plate of 1 cm I achieved the desired height.